I want to work with something that is already made. Some filters are already made. I'll try to maybe go the long way to, to create a, a feel and a mood you know, of the video. You could almost feel the texture of the video. You could almost feel the bumps, you know. In paintings, you have these uh, brush strokes. You could almost feel the strokes. And for me, I think that it's, it's my signature. It's my kind of artistic brush stroke. You could feel that you're watching a video that I made. New media is a challenge, video is a challenge, you know. For me, I have to actually to look maybe 10 times as much for, for, for inspiration, 10 times as much for, for, for information, you know, for gestures, uh, for, for movement, for things, you know. I look maybe 10 times as much just looking at television, what programs are there, what they, they project. Uh, maybe go to movies <laughs> much more than other guys would go to movies just to just to learn the the language of cinema you know and uh you, perhaps you link that with what you read you know uh, history of cinema you know where that 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 comes from you know In my space, basically, I shot that in low shutter speed in color. You almost feel like in the sky. You almost feel like you're flowing in, in space. And there's this huge, big blue that, that is kind of a calming thing. It's kind of a spir spiritual kind of color as well. For me, the piece itself, it's this kind of psychological kind of thing. You know, it's, it's like I wanted to be out there you know kind of exploring spaces but i didn't want to use a normal form of communication maybe it's, it's, it's by speaking by language and stuff but i want to to speak by performance by gestures forms and shapes and stuff the sound is pretty much kind of sound that you hear in your own mind when it's too quiet you know you have the bubbles you have the water you have the 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 slow kind of machine sound you know just like get you maybe carry you in some in some way that you can you can be alone you can be with some other people but at the same time you those people kind of become like a background they just fall away and you just in just communicating with one piece you know there there are no other references you cannot kind of look at other pictures they are intentionally didn't put other kind of clips or scene or whatever. So you're just like engaging with this, with this image alone and just trying to be in your mind space. I didn't have a role models, artists that actually you, you go to a museum, to a gallery to see, to engage with, to interact with, you know, you know, that came late 90s. You acquire those skills as you, as you go. And fortunately for me and maybe other guys as well, we've been fortunate enough to have opportunities to travel. And then you, you're exposed to this uh, variety of, of new media, you know, uh, 
of video art installation and pieces and in, in Switzerland as a, a museum of t telecommunication and they had this amazing kind of pieces uh, installation actually uh, of video or anything that have to do with new media and, te and technology and then you come back and uh, say wow you know these people have been creating this thing for maybe 20 years 30 years you know and um, you uh, one thing that also in terms of this kind of self-learning thing also to find out the ah these are dedicated uh, spaces for new media and video and there there are galleries or museums that actually were kind of designed and planned with this kind of new media in mind you know because people that have been practicing uh, new media for for a while and you begin to wonder how much you can bring back here Mr. Blair believes the war will Orderly legally action. and morally sound like even if they never find absolutely. weapons of mass destruction. But they'll always be vulnerable to the doubt that you warn the soldiers about until he produces some conclusive evidence. Many people feel the world has forgotten about Africa. For we are afraid um, I'll take everybody back to 2001 September. Um, 2001, September 11, you know, there was this big bang of two towers, twin towers in, in New York. Um, I think that kind of changed a lot of attitude, like it's a global thing, global phenomena. And, uh, and then you skip that to like two years later, maybe a year or two years later when they the, the U.S. invasion of Afghanistan and um, and then a year later you you, you go to Iraq and uh, you, you still like now there's the still the war goes on of mass destruction but they'll always be vulnerable to the doubt that you warn the soldiers about until he produces some conclusive evidence Many people feel the world has forgotten about Africa. Orderly action. I felt like what could kind of visuals that I could kind of come up with that actually perhaps will hold the, the attention of the viewer or anyone that engaged with the piece, uh, but at the same time not have the same image that like of blood and limbs and stuff, the throne or destruction. But something that actually will make you alert or be aware of, of what you fear the most. And then from then, when those images were being projected, I say, okay, these things I can see, you know, I can see them on television, you know. It feeds something on me. And as an end product, what would come out, you know? The world has forgotten about Africa. And many people feel the world has forgotten about Africa. And many people feel the world has forgotten about Africa. And many people feel the world has forgotten about Africa. And many people feel the world has forgotten about Africa. And many people